What's up? Alex, all I have to do is call Interpol, Interpol, Scotland Yard, and uh, you would be arrested because literally right now you're bullying and harassing a woman with borderline personality disorder and a multitude of uh, mental health problems and physical health problems, and you're literally breaking the law right now in England by doing it. And I understand why. I understand why you tell people that I'm lying about having these these problems because you don't want to be held accountable by the law over breaking the law like you are right now. And not only that, you break terms of service by saying how I smell and how you think I look like and you calling me all these names relating to animals. That actually is breaking terms of service. You do realize that. And now and now you're now you're engaging in targeted harassment by letting children come over to my channel and harass me. So, all self-diagnosed. What's the proof there, Spooky, that what I said was self-diagnosed? How is it self-diagnosed, Spooky? They want you to show your medical records. Yeah, I'm not showing my medical records to your idiots. You know, when you say stuff like that, that makes me block you. There you go. That's that there you go. Spooky. There you go. See? You see how that works? Silence. Now you can't come in. Make a, make, make a sock account. And come in here and try to insult me again. I'll block that sock account too, okay? <sighs> I'm a professional here. I've been doing this for freaking almost 20 fucking years, dudes. So. Actually, I have been doing it for over. I, I started social media at the age of 15 years old, okay? 15, I've been doing social media. I'm old school at this shit and, you know, whatever. Ah, 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 Gina, you did the carnal sin by calling someone who's not lying a liar. See, that's all you say. You don't say what I lie about. You just say I'm a liar. Yep. That's why people will not acknowledge the fact that you're a liar and you're engaging in targeted harassment of me right now. Thank you, Carol Fitzgerald. I am a sexy BBW queen. Always will be. Always will be. Always will be. See... Me and G-Man, we made up, by the way. We made up. And, um... Yeah, thanks, G. Anyway, um... You, you, missed, you missed us? Yeah. Me and G-Man, we have this, like, psychic connection and we feel each other now, so... Whatever. I believe Crowley is an object loser because he says, and I wouldn't even know why you would name your, your, yourself Crowley because Crowley is a known, you know, the P word. And, 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 and Crowley purposely, you know, engages in hurting like small children to, you know, make portals. So if you're going to come in my room with that name, I'm just going to assume that you're the P word. Oh, look at, look at, look at Alex being a little bitch here. Shani, please call the police. I dare you. Call the police on me. Call Interpol. Please do it. We might. I might. I might, Alex. What are you going to do? You're going to be, oh, it's my mental health that did it. I didn't mean to. It's my mental health. I got holes in my brain like cheese. I sorries. I sorries. I'm so sorry that I have this holy cheese brain. You enjoying it, enjoying your lesions there, Alex? Huh? You enjoying those brain lesions? Maybe, maybe it's the brain lesions that causes you to be such a fucking asshole and harasser of people. <laughs> but loser Todd came in, so loser Todd goes bye bye, and loser Alex goes bye bye, because Alex or loser Alex can't talk like a fucking adult because he's so wrapped up with hanging out with children all the time that he's engaged in acting like a child because that's all he talks to is children. So enjoy. I I'm just going to leave the P words on their side of the internet and ignore them. Uh, you see the harassment of these people saying all this shit. But see, Alex... You don't know me. You just see my videos and run off them and, and say a bunch of things. 
okay? I'm sorry, but yelling at your children not to kill your cat is not child abuse, and CPS didn't see it as child abuse. So, and their case closed on that one. So, have fun with that, idiots. Alex, you say you're a mental health advocate, but yet you pick on everyone who has mental health problems. How, what kind of advocacy is that, moron? Cheddar is delicious. Thank you, Steven. No, I don't. No, I don't. You see that? See, Alex is such a bitch that he has his people come on and, and, and push propaganda onto people. Pathetic. That, that's what they do. And it's probably all Alex that is going through one sock account over another because he has to. You know, look at all you people. This is good. This is good. This is, like, giving me, like, more people to block. You know? That's why I do shit like this. People who get self-satisfaction from others' pain are losers. Exactly. They are. They are. They want to pick on people all the time. Okay. Well. There you go. Try spamming now. I just put it on slow mode. So now you gotta wait 60 seconds before you can comment. Why all the negativity? Because Irate Alex is doing targeted harassment right now of me and trying to get my goat and it's not working. I'm just exposing him. Because he's a hate enabler. Who, who, who uses mental health advocate to use as an excuse whenever anyone says anything criticizing toward him because he can't take criticism. He needs his whole legion of morons to come out and defend his honor because he can't defend himself himself because if you didn't see in the comments section, all he does is laugh out loud, laugh out loud and, and stupid childish tactics because that's all he hangs around with is children because he's the P word. It's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Oh, Scientist Sam is his, uh, you know, his spy. But you can go believe Scientist Sam. That's okay. Scientist Sam will keep giving uh, G-Man information. That's okay. Look at the same old stupid fucking names that I fucking hate. All the same stupid harassing names who've been harassing me for years. Because they... They have no life of their own. We'll do, Chevy. Army of Tigers rise. You see that? Oh. Proof. Proof of targeted harassment right there. Look at that. Goodbye, Blue. You're part of the Pato squad, so... You know, as soon as you decide to get away from the pedosexuals... Uh, maybe, maybe then we can actually have a friendly conversation, but since you still hang out with people who engage in, in, in Matt Bell activities, I want nothing to do with you or your lot. Okay? Because we all have the screenshots and everything in your Discord files of what all you fuckers say and all, 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 all the pictures you post. We all see it. Look it, your name is Pompous Ass and you want to criticize people? You're an idiot. What's up, theater wrench? Wench, ginger. Why are you calling yourself a wench? Gingers are supposed to be gorgeous, beautiful girls. There you go. Nope, my real name is White Wolf, Native American. That is beautiful, Chevy. That is beautiful. See, everyone says they're beggars. They're asking for nothing. I know, right? That's correct. Shani, re re where is Rev? We divorced. We're no longer together. We're completely, like, backed off from each other. We hate each other's guts. That's what that, that's where Rev is. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Blue, you just have to come to the realization that you're not 
welcome here. Stop making stock accounts, dude. You're not welcome here. You you play both sides. You pretend you're nice to us. And then whenever we give you any information, you give it to them. How about you stop being a sneaky sneak and stop playing both sides of the fence and actually be a human being and actually treat people like human beings? I agree. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. See, you guys are all proving my point that you're hate enablers because that's all that comes out of your mouth is hate. Yep. Nothing good. Nothing edifying. Nothing that will help me in any way. It's all, let's make fun of Shani, let's make fun of Shani, let's make fun of Shani, and then call ourselves mental health advocates while making fun of people. That's not what mental health advocates do. Mental health advocates, they see people who are being fucking picked on and treated like shit, and they stand up for them. That's what mental health advocates do, is they stand up for people who have mental health problems. But see, you as a mental health advocate, you'll be like, it's self-diagnosed that so you have an excuse to go and bully someone, which is disgusting. Because I, with my BPD, for instance, it was diagnosed in the U.S. military. So try to fight that one in the court of law when uh, the, there's actual military files on my mental health. When you get sued. Yeah. <laughs> which will happen. <laughs> All Hi, Pamela Pickles. How are you? Gorgeous. All the target target harassment from these people. I was harassing, harassed for liking G-Man. It's pathetic. I know. And let me tell you, G-Man is probably one of the most sweetest, kindest, gentlest human beings. If you actually met him, you would see. You know, I will say he's kind of obsessed with wrestling. But, you know, that's he was a wrestler, so I give props to him over that, you know? And he's taught me and, and Rev some really good, you know, moves in wrestling. Yeah. Quite frequently. I found out that I'm too much of a bitch to be a pro wrestler. I couldn't do it. Yeah. No way. It hurts too much to yeah, be a pro wrestler. For me. Yeah. To fall down constantly. You hurt your hand when I you did, did that drop. Flow. I did one even flow Raven DDT and I, my hand is so far. Yeah. I'm done. And there's G Man. He's just rolling all over he the place. Over the freaking thing. He's, awesome. He's awesome. Anyway. <laughs> I'm still pissed about What's fucked is it seems everyone hates you but can't never wait to join you when you start your stream so crazy bullying is a law folks <laughs> they pushed me off the internet for taking up for you i'm back and stronger that's right pamela pickles let's kick these fucking atheist satanic pieces of crap asses off the internet let's show that jesus christ is lord and we're nothing but lions for the lion of judah we're all part of judah we're all the lions of judah and, and, and yeah, lions, they're patient. Sometimes they run away when they, they feel kind of weak, but when they come back, they're stronger, and their eye is focused on their prey. You better be careful, man. I mean, right now, we got a big, giant, freaking hurricane, Ida. That's the whirlwind. That's God. That's, that's God in the fullest right there, and he's going to take care of a lot of you people. A lot of you people, because you're so vicious and evil. You thirst, you thirst, you crave, you crave contention with people. That, that, that is, seriously, you need some mental help for that. That craving of contention with people. Because me, I'm normally not contentious. Uh, but I will finally get sick of fucking people keep poking the bear. So, the bear is out. You know, there, it says in the Bible there's a time for peace and there's a time for war. I believe it is a time for war. I believe it is a time to fight back. I, I believe it's a time to shut motherfuckers' fucking lying faces off because they have lied about me nonstop. Nonstop. Thank you, Ernest. Shanny's too tough for these bullies to destroy. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they're, they're weak. All these bullies, uh, the thing is you got to know about bullies is they're weak. Yep. They can't take criticism from no one. And if someone criticizes them, they're the first ones to bitch and complain about being criticized while criticizing everyone else. They can't take the heat, but they can give the heat because they're bitches. Hypocritical bitches. That's what they are. You know? G-Man didn't let us move in. What are you talking about, Hella? We're still at the old place, idiot. Nice fishing, though. Nice fishing. Yeah, you got bad information, uh, and I'm still angry at G-Man a little bit over the house, to be honest. So, you but just... he's selling it. Yeah, so. I, I know he's selling it, but still, he's selling it. It doesn't matter anymore. It's none of your fucking business anyway. 
No, it's not. Internet fights just baffle me, Shani. They do. They do, and they're dumb. Look at this. This is so gross, this name. It's autistic daughter and the M-O-L-E-S-T-E-R word. I think she lost a tooth, and that's why she's not on cam. You see that? Why would you pick on someone who's autistic? They just want you on cam because you're psychos. Yeah, you want me on cam because you want to see me. You know. She isn't bullying. She's showing compassion. There's a difference. You guys are mad because you can't keep her quiet. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, Pamela. I love you, girl. Oh, look at this idiot. Hey, Shani, I was diagnosed with BPD too, but you know what? I went and got help, and now I see. I'm so glad I did the right thing because I sure as hell will never want to be anything like, yo, I've taken DBT too, idiot. Have you been listening to morons over the internet saying I'm self-diagnosed and I don't get help? Because I do. Yeah. But see, you, you're, you're such an idiot and simple-minded that you believe these idiots because you're dumb. So enjoy being dumb in your little BPD self. I hope you rage. And, and, and your, your anger is like at this heightened, really state of emotion. And you'll be there for about one to two days of rage and anger against me. So enjoy your rage and anger against me that I caused because your feelings got hurt because I rejected your ass. How about that for a BPD statement, bitch? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, you ain't copying my husband's name. Love and peace, no hate, we are human, we are one. Wouldn't everyone want to be want a better, less hateful world or in sunshine turn in the world? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My viewership sucks? Yeah, speaking from someone who only gets 33 views a video. Pathetic. Yeah, go somewhere else, little boy. Go somewhere else. Go, go, go pick on your sister, okay? I don't talk to children, okay? I'm not the P word like your friends are. Yep. I love you too, Pamela Pickle. Cool. Sorry, I don't talk to child molesters. Ugh. Sorry, I don't talk to antagonizers. You, you see how that works? Why are people so mean with people with BPD? Because they're ugly people. You know, they, they say they have BPD, but yet they don't show that they have BPD. And they're very, like, people who have borderline personality disorder aren't normally cruel to people just first stance. You know, when you meet someone, people with BPD are usually nice, kind, respectful, because they, they're not in a triggered state. But, you know, I, I don't know. I don't insult people without a cause, like you, like you did, saying you have BPD. You might want to go back and get some more therapy if you're insulting people who don't even know who the fuck you are. Yeah. So go back and get some more DBT, honey. You, you're not fully there yet, bitch. Or, or maybe you should take some cognitive behavior therapy, maybe some anger management, maybe some domestic violence courses, something like that. Something where you, where you have that switch, like, oh, I'm going to say something incredibly rude and mean to someone. Whatever. Bruh. See, you know why they want my face on? So they can go and analyze my face and be like, Oh, look at she's mad there. Oh, look at she's not serious there. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Because they're dumb. They're dumb and they pretend that they're psychologists. I'm saying you to you, mind your own fucking business about my life, bitch. I'm begging for negative attention while saying that I'm being targeted, harassed. Okay, honey, good one. Good, good, good little detective work you got there. With your fake fucking name. No, I'm not going to get mad if you flag my channel down. In fact, I expect it to be flagged down because you guys are losers who can't take criticism from anyone. So you silent your opponents because you're losers. Because you know, you know the difference? You guys do nothing but tell lies to others and I tell the truth. And you can't fucking stand that I tell the truth and expose your fucking dumb asses. <laughs> No, I'm not insulting people by calling them the P-word. I'm literally telling you they are. 
They hang out with Matt Bell. They hang out with people who literally do this stuff. And they enable them. There's plenty of proof. Just go to their Discord service servers and you'll see it. And it's all being recorded by spies. Because you're dumb. You're dumb. And there's so many feds in your Discord servers, guys. You guys are so stupid. Remember, it took two years for Interpol to take Matt Bell. Trust me, honeys. You're going to go down. Yep. You're going to go down. Okay, we're just dealing with the United States feds, which is a little bit more moronic. Slower. And slower. But it's going to happen, idiots. Yep. Keep hiding. Keep hiding. It's okay. They're thoroughly watching you, idiots. Yeah, they are. Being rude and me never solves anything. Uh, really? Me being nice didn't solve anything either. True. These people had to go through what you go through. My huge ass can walk, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Tell that to me. We see you every day and you can barely function. Because <laughs> you barely ever have any kind of medication at all. Anything. Damn, G-Man won't sleep with you? Are you sure about that? Because I guarantee if Jason got out of the picture, me and G-Man would get together. Yeah, definitely. I'd say that's definitely. I'm just saying. Anyway. Yeah. There you go. What? That man is in love with me, and I'm totally cool with that, because okay. I love him too. There you go. See? We all love each other. We do. Christian love. Shitty, get offline, and guess what? The targeted harassment will p disappear. Oh, so I'm responsible for what a bunch of fucking adults do? No, I don't think so. Even if I went offline, you still call the police and CPS on me. Because you have. Exactly. That's You'll still lie. write me stupid things. And why would you come in my room as Ted Bundy, a man who is known to murder and rape women, young women, by the way, teenagers, by the way, why would you come in with my room like that and expect me to take you seriously? You're Satanist. Yeah. You, you're posing as a serial murderer. You're an idiot. Very rich way. I mean, these people are psychotic, literally. Right? They're psychotic. What's up, Grammy? <laughs> just ignore the morons, guys. They're just trying to get my goat and it's not working. Because, see... I look at them as the perspective of being disrespectful fucking morons who just want to start shit with someone. They need they need a reaction. That's why they keep saying get on camera because they their their channel ain't gonna be very or their videos aren't gonna be shit with me just talking off camera. And I'll tell you why because they can't see my face, so they can manipulate their audience and be like, look, she rolled her eyes, so it means this. Yep. Look, she did this with her face because it means this. When really it's just me and my normal fucking face just talking with. I don't know. But that's what they do, because they're di idiots. So I decided to piss them off and not put my face on camera for their for their benefit of, of and, and cause them not to stumble over their lion malicious gossiping. You know what I mean? You should mod Pamela Pickles. She'd be a good mod for Yeah, Pam. She's great. I'm going to mod you, girl. Yeah, she's cool, man. Because I've known you for years. Yeah, she's strong Christian. You guys are just proving Shanny's point. You get to talk anyway about her, and now you guys are in her chat gaslighting her and being mad because she has an opinion. Just stop. Oh You're right? That's, right? That's the truth. That needs to be pinned. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. oh, good point. Mm -hmm. Let's pin this message. There you go. That's the truth. So you get more content out of you and, and make more money. It's pretty easy. I You would leave Rev in a heartbeat for a place to live in a blink of an eye. I haven't left him yet, you dumb, stupid bitch. <laughs> I haven't left him yet. Ugh, Celeste Kitty. Ugh. Yeah, You're like sulfur. Yeah, I agree. Just eggy fucking fart smells. That's what you are. <laughs> I agree. General gut naked. Ha 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 Pammy is popping you. Ha 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 ha. She is. She modded G-Man for years, man. And I'm gonna... I actually should call G-Man and say that you're back. Because he, he's gonna love it. Yeah, he's... He, he loves it. He's cool. I'm not answering any medical questions. And if you continue to push this question, I'm just gonna block you. 
Because you know what? I believe in my right of privacy of my medical problems. Yes. Later, Chevy. Later, Chevy. I'm not going to have you bullies run me off the internet for loving Shanny, Rev, and Gmeon. Let me ask you, Pam, what did they do to you exactly? Were they dock dropping you and stuff? Wow, Fathomo, you're a fucking genius. Rev is the only reason why you're in Rev's uncle's house. Gee, really? <laughs> well, that's oh, true. My God! That's definitely true. That's a genius statement. Oh, wow! <laughs> like, what the hell is that even supposed to mean? Like, yeah, duh. He's my uncle. Yeah, duh. <laughs> like, what the flip? Hey, G, how are you, handsome? <laughs> Yeah, Celeste is like Saul for fart. She never goes away. <laughs> like you, Celeste, right now playing a sock account. <laughs> never goes away. That's true. Like your friend for 10 seconds. Why am I hiding from the atheists? I'm not hiding from the atheists. I'm telling them they're fucking morons and they need to seek Jesus Christ. I just don't want to deal with your bullshit. There's a big difference there. Kelly Bolts, you fucking troll from hell. Oh, that one. Can we banish that one to Tartarus, please? <laughs> Holy well, shit. Right? Gee, text me to make sure that's you, and I'll give you mods. Yeah. Throw a text. Throw a text, boy! Oh my god, boy. No, no, you're not gonna like being called boy. I don't mean it that way. Because <laughs> you're way older than me. Not way older than me. You have more energy than me, though. My god, I wish I had your energy. I remember we were in the grocery store, and I was like, can I have your energy? And you're like, here. <laughs> and you moved your arms, like. <laughs> I I, I, it's hard for me to be mad at G-Man ever. Technically, I'm a sulfur fart smell. Okay, well, I mean, hey, at least you're proud of what you are, dude. At least you're proud of what you are. <laughs> Holy shit. That's good. <laughs> you scared G-Man? Yeah. No, he's not. No, he doesn't scare easily. Gotcha. Why would G-Man be scared of a bunch of words on the internet? Exactly. Exactly. Why would anybody be afraid of that? Oh, you said the carnal name that must not be named. Go fuck off. and you try to make me look like a bad piece of fucking scum when it's really you are like i'm not fucking going on any of you guys but you are and none of you guys tell each other to stop you're being mean you're being enablers none of you are stopping you're all continuing with your hatred man how, what do you what, do you wake up in the morning and like hate i gotta figure out what shanny's doing do you, does the obsession over trying to figure out what shanny's doing like really tick you off that much ew Ew! <laughs> Ew! 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 I don't know if that's really G. Because he hasn't texted me yet. So. No, I need him. It's a troll. No, I don't think it's G. No, it's a troll account. Because G, you would have texted me by now. Immediately. I'm waiting on my phone. You got two him. minutes. It's not him. Two minutes to text me. If you don't, I'm blocking you. Yep. That's the way to do it. Two minutes. GTV Network, I don't know if it's you. I don't think it is. Oh, you could just ban them, girl. I don't care. They're not worth my speak. Amen. Ban them. I think Alex is a poor, sad little man who's living with a horrible disease and he thinks he can take his disease out on someone who has the same disease as him because he feels bad about himself and he probably doesn't have many people in his life. So he goes out and he finds, you know, 
enabling and, 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 you know, encouraging from people who just want him to be cruel to people when really he should be starting to think that I am called a mental health advocate. I should be doing my fucking job as a mental health advocate and actually advocate for people with mental health problems instead of exposing them and trying to make them look like horrible people. He could be doing that. He chooses not to. He chooses to be paid to be a fucking bully and a cruel piece of shit human being. So if he wants to be paid and lose his integrity and everything he is as a human being, that's him. That is my opinion. So don't even add other stupid shit in because I know you're a fucking troll looking for fucking information so you could tag me and be like, oh, look it. She said this about you, Alex, so he can look like some fucking poor pathetic victim when really he's sending all his fucking legions of morons to me to try to attack me and it's not even hitting me. Like, you just say the same stupid fucking thing over and over again. Same stupid thing. Thank you, Debbie. Now, see, you guys bring up dropping names like this. I'm just going to block you for the sheer reason is I know you're trying to give these people uh, their name out there. But guess what? Guess what, honey? I don't do free solicitation, so if you want to sell your fucking name to me, you better be giving me some goods, you know? Sorry. So many people, so nosy in my personal life. Mind your fucking business, guys. Oh. That be maybe one reason why he can't text me. Eh, one minute. Let me go mute real quick. Okay. All right. Let's not talk about this anymore. All right. I'm back. Anyway, sorry about that. I was trying to figure uh, some shit out about, yeah, it was just a stupid thing when it comes to something. Anyway. I don't think that's the real G-Man because he hasn't texted me. I like the laugh too, that's why. Yeah, they say I'm a funny lols cow. No, maybe it's because I'm funny and, and they know I'm funny, but at the same time, they make me look out to be like some other like stupid fucking human being and I'm not even close to being stupid, but they try to make me to be that. And you're actually seeing someone who's actually funny and making jokes and uh, not exactly a lols cow. Maybe you should start listening to me instead of them because all they're doing is just being leeches off my own material. And, and the more you realize that, the more you realize, hey, maybe I don't hate Shani so much. Maybe I do like her and I just was brainwashed to hate this woman. Thanks, Sugarloaf. I can't take a toke. I got no nothing. Nothing to toke on. <laughs> Thank you. How is everyone to do when they're chilling, man? What jokes? You are the joke. Okay. Not my fault you can't take intelligent humor, sir. It's not my fault that you're so freaking dumb with your stupid poopy piss fart and cum jokes and fat jokes that you can't actually understand what real intelligent humor is, sir. Maybe someday you'll get out of your little cradle and little crib of immature jokes and you'll actually become adult with actual fucking funny jokes that aren't fucking dumb and degrading. Anyway. I'll wake and bake for you, Shani. Please do. Please do. Oh, I love you, Pam. You're awesome. You are? I would be working on a story if you weren't a lol's cow. Oh, so you'd actually be doing actual work and doing something for society if you weren't focused and obsessed about me, someone I don't know. I don't even know who you are, but yet you don't put in any work in because you're so obsessed about me. That's pretty sad, Marquis de Sadie. That's pretty freaking sad. I know, right? Muleta, Muleta, may the Lord Jesus Christ stripe you of your tooth pain and find a good way how to cover it up and make you feel all right and wonderful and sparkly. Amen. Yeah. 
wouldn't know that Dunning-Kruger University talent scout troll motherfucker who's trying to put things in my fucking mouth that I said and I don't not going to be falling for that one. Man, you guys are so dumb. You think I'm some kind of, like, newbie who's not new to these old fucking tricks. I know all the tricks, honey. I invented them. Yeah. So you're going to a, a Jedi Master and telling the Jedi Master how to do a Jedi Master trick and, and, sh and actually trying to do a Jedi Master trick on a Jedi Master and it's not going to work because I know how to do it. So sad. So, Necrosol, did, did you get a brain? Did, did, did you get a, a, a common sense thing? Did you, did you get, you know, a, a humanity card? Did you get a non-sensitivity type of thing in your life? Did mommy and daddy hug you and kiss you and tell you you were a good boy? Or, or, or did they make you into a feral, disrespectful prick? I don't know. What did mommy and daddy do for you? What is your job? What do you do? How much money do you make? Where do you live? What are your medical problems? What personal stuff are you into, dude? <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come on, man. You asking all these personal questions for me? Where's your personal shit, you know? <laughs> exactly. Oh, look at another another dick and 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 penis joke. Master these nuts, bitch. Oh, wow. How original. How original. No, no, I don't, I don't need your nuts. Um, I, I'm, I'm not into that type of thing, uh, especially hateful nuts. Hateful nuts make nuts taste bad, so, no thank you. <laughs> Go take your putrid nuts somewhere else to sexual harass, freak. <laughs> I'm not into Ambisol so much. Nope. Nope. I would have to ask you if you're watching people like Irate Alex and all these abusive channels, why would I want you on my channel? Why would I even trust you to be on my channel with you admitting something like that? You actually watch people who mentally and emotionally abuse people. And you laugh with them emotionally and mentally abusing people. And you think it's cool. You think that they're hot shit. That's something on you, man. And I, I, I don't dig that vibe. So you can get the fuck off my channel, bitch. Yep. <laughs> When am I doing my cooking streams? I don't know. I got I got to get myself established before I do that type of stuff. Right. Is that the real rev? Are you real? Well, folks, I don't know what you're talking about. Alex Jones here. Yeah, me and Shanny are together now. That rev loser's gone. <laughs> Why would I kick kill Rev with my cooking when it's probably the most incredible thing that you'd ever put in your mouth? Well, that'd be a good way to die if you did. But... Like you guys, that there's another thing. Your cooking is horrible. No, it's not. Oh. You gotta taste it. That's dumb. You could taste it at her five-star restaurant when she has one. Did you think that was going to trigger me, though, using a statement like that? That's so untrue. Yeah, they were trying to say that you were Were you be an obnoxious child adult? Were you being an obnoxious child adult? Child adult, exactly. Why are you bringing them up? That's what I'm wondering. Are you trying to trigger me? Because it didn't work. I just blocked you instead because I know that will trigger you. I don't think Alex Jones would touch you. Well, Mistress Rebecca, I'm looking at your little uh, icon right there, and I doubt Alex Jones would touch you with your little ducky face and trying to be pretty when and your face all squished up. So Alex likes I don't know. I don't know, Rebecca. I'll, I, I don't know. 
Maybe Alex Jones wouldn't touch me, but he definitely wouldn't touch you either, so I don't know why you're trying to, you know, shame me over my looks when you look not that good either. That's, that's just dumb. So, have fun being a, uh, look shamer, well, bitch. There's, a, there's an Alex Jones authority in the room, me, and I can tell you for a fact that Alex likes big women. Thank you. There you go. He does. That's the truth. Oh, I can make carbonara, man. You can make anything. I can. I love carbonara. You can make anything. I can. You're amazing. I have all of it in my head. You do. What's your secret? Look at how stupid this comment is. This is another immature baby comment. Okay, this is, this is how dumb they are, you know? <laughs> What's your secret ingredient in your dishes? Side boob sweat? Yes. I put my side boob sweat in so my husband could eat the pheromones within the side boob oh sweat. Oh, my God, and that makes and, me... and it makes him horny, and I get fucked like no tomorrow. Oh, there you go. See? There you go. That was a correct There you go. A little hint, hint, ladies. Use side boob sweat for your man and your cooking. And he'll fuck the shit out of you. And he'll fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> the pheromones of side boob sweat. And it tastes good, too. So I'm down with it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nick. Thank Happy you. late birthday to you, too. <laughs> That's all they have, Shani. Fat jokes. Are we in elementary? I know. They can't, they can't, they can't get any, any, you know, intelligent jokes out there. It's all, like, boob and dick and fart and jizz and shit and fart jokes. It's just immature, dumb jokes. Come on, man. Get get some like inspiration from like Monty Python, or or you know maybe Simon Pegg jokes or or you know go go watch some Dave Chappelle or Cat Williams. Yeah. Go look at actual comedians who actually know how to do jokes. Oh, Dennis Leary. Is Dennis Leary, Leary. Dennis Leary. yeah, Homer. Dennis Leary, uh, Bill Maher. Mm -hmm. Just go to actual intelligent people that know how to do jokes instead of this immature fucking dumb joke that you probably learned from your stupid TV shows. That are on Cartoon Network because it's nothing but screaming and fart jokes. Yep, there you go. Uh, you go, go, go! Enjoy your little immature jokes that really are meaningless to people with a higher IQ than you know 105. <laughs> That's correct. Accurate. <laughs> so, is it okay for males to have? Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. Definitely, I love the waffles more than the pancakes. My son, though, he makes killer pancakes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he makes killer pancakes. Can I ask you a question for TOS? Yeah. Is it okay for a male to show his chest on, on a live stream? I don't think it is. Go look. I, don't, I think it's against terms of service. Laugh my out. Makes notes on psycho sweat. You're too much, guys. Thank you. Psycho sweat? Okay. Thought on Trisha going on Keem's podcast? She's being Trisha, and it's fabulous that she did that. <laughs> we should watch that. Me and Keemstar actually have been getting along as of late. That's weird. Oh, that must be something you guys fucking hate, too, is I know all these fucking celebrities, and you know no one. Uh. <laughs> anyway, and they all talk about me, anyway. <laughs> and, love and, and leave clues how much they love me by dyeing their hair pink in my, in my honor. I love it, anyway. And, and, and soon, everyone's going to be dyeing their hair blue. Oh. It was your birthday recently? Happy belated birthday. Yeah, my birthday was on the 27th. No. I don't care. You could donate. I think the only thing that works is the PayPal, because they all fucking said I was being scamming. No, your, your, your thing works. Not the Cash App. Not, not that one that got taken away. I just left it in the comments. <sighs> if you taught your kid to cook, I'm sure they're great at it. Yeah, they're great at cooking. Like, yeah. even the youngest. He's awesome. He, he's he, he's um, got uh, mild autism, but he still, he makes rockin' food, too. Like, I'm so glad. My Both my sons are very intelligent, smart, emotionally well put together. 
which is awesome because I taught my kids my coping techniques because I know that borderline personality disorder can be very genetic. So I decided when I was taking DBT, uh, which is dialectic behavior therapy, to teach my son's dialectic behavior therapy as well so in case they have it, they know how to cope with it. You know what I mean? I think that was the most intelligent mom thing I could possibly do. Because yeah. I know that mental illness runs in my family and it's genetic. I know it is. So because, I, you know, I'm just going to do whatever I can to help them guys. But they're awesome. The PayPal is at Shanny Needs Love. That technically is my PayPal. Is that Shani is <laughs> needs love anyway. But they'll probably tag that down too. Yeah. Say that I'm scamming when I'm not. Just people literally asking, can I give you money? Why is she bringing up my? Why am I bringing up my kids? Because I can. It's my kids. Yeah, when you want to. Exactly. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to answer your personal questions about my child children. See, I just said my kids are good fucking cooks and you're turning around to be someone else. Get the fuck away from me. Fuck Get out, troll. Go troll someone else. Go troll people who actually give a fuck. Exactly. <laughs> Let's see if they yell and scream at you too. <laughs> they love to be negative. I know, that's because they serve Lucifer. Yeah. They are children of Satan. They aren't children of Jesus. They have to go and be like, Oh, I gotta say something negative and negative. Let me try to get her. I gotta get her. I gotta get to Shani. I gotta put the Shani down. <laughs> we gotta get her to rage. Let her rage. It's funny. It makes us laugh. Nah. Nah, the worst fucking possible thing has happened to me and the, my raging days are kind of dead, guys. I'll be honest. My one fear happened. I lost my dad before I could even talk to him. My one fear happened. So, you know, nothing fucking frightens me anymore. The biggest fear I had is has happened and I survived it. You think you're gonna your little fucking words on the internet are gonna affect me in any way when the same fucking thing you said has been thrown to me millions of times? Please. Please. Thoughts on Frenemies Fallout? It's Trisha. She's BPD. And she's going to continue to have interpersonal problems with people for the rest of her life because that's part of being BPD. It's part of borderline personality disorder. Whatever it happened. Thank you, The Days. Proud parents talk about their kids. It happens. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. What is Scarlet's little thing? What did she say? People call CPS because they want to see a big giant shanty explosion. But I'm not doing that. Because I, I realize what you guys are doing. And it's dumb. You all want a reaction. That's all you want is reactions. So you can put it on a tape. And, and you can tell people, oh look it, she's the crazy one, not us. We're, we're only obsessing about this human being for 10 fucking years and constantly calling CPS and authorities on her for nothing. She's the one with the problem, not us. Look it, look it, she's a fat fucking pig. Look at that shanty for Christ, that fat fucking pig. Look at that hateful fucking fat pig. Look at that fucking pig. She lies about everything, that fat fucking fat pig. Look at that shanty for Christ, that fucking fat pig. I'm such a better person than that fucking fat pig. I'm so much better than her. Let's all come together and just come in, in, in a cult and tell everyone how much we hate Shani and everyone who loves her, we're going to go against them and make their lives miserable. Because that's what good people do, goddammit. <laughs> you want to hear more about G-Man scamming people? He doesn't scam people. There's difference. 
He has spies spying on you idiots. Well, you guys are saying his spies aren't his spies because they've thoroughly convinced you. That's how dumb you are. I tell you exactly who the spies are, and you deny it, and you're like, Oh, well, that's not true. Okay, fine. Good luck. Good luck. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Keep those people in your in your community. It really helps G-Man out, though. In the long run. It helps him, which will help me, too. When is G-Man going to release the documentary? When he does. But what I've heard, it's probably going to be around January when he releases this stuff. Thank you, Hella Skelter. Thank you. I, I, I do question about your name, though, Hella Skelter. Why are you putting? Why is your name Hella Skelter? Why are you putting Heller Skelter in your name? Because Heller Helter Skelter is is the name Charles Manson gave for a, a race war, and it's a book which is really creepy. The Helter Skelter book. I suggest reading it it's a child it's supposed to be a children's book but when i read it i was like jesus are they talking about the manson murders i don't know did you hear von helton's gonna let ida destroy new orleans well good for him i hope he gets his power he he, he gets his wish and his powers become true as the true warlock punisher he is <laughs> did he pay you for your silence yes Helter Skelter was a roller coaster and a Beatles song. Little hint hint. Did you know Charles Manson wrote a bunch of Beatles and Be uh 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 what the fuck are they called? The Beach Boys songs. Did you know that? Little 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 hint there. Helter Skelter was written by no other Charles Manson and you listen to it. That's lovely. Anyway. <laughs> That's not true, Shanny. Yeah, it is really true. Because see they use they used him writing songs for these people as ammunition against him in court on why he did, or what they said he did, the, you know, atrocities, which he wasn't even involved in, but that's neither here nor there. Shani has grown over the years. All you haters are doing are making her stronger every day, so the joke's on you, haters. Yeah, that's right. Like, they're just making me stronger. Like, these jokes mean nothing to me. These, these name calls mean nothing to me. It's nothing. <sighs> you're here to watch me have a heart attack online wow burn you're just a wonderful human being wow you better be careful of you of you saying stuff like that maybe you that's gonna have the you know heart attack i'm just saying that's how karma goes usually you say i can't wait for this to happen and then something really bad happens to you <laughs> I could have more viewers, but other people are taking my content because they're losers who can't who can't do things themselves and actually have content themselves because they're uncreative bastards who don't have the oration skills like I do. Oh, there is a lot more to the Charles Manson story than than the media says. The media only just gives us like little what they think happened. Nah, you should look into it. I say anyone research the Charles Manson thing. It's fascinating. Watch the old interviews. Listen to what he says and cut off, like, what the reporters and what you think you know about him. That's how I always do things when I'm researching things. I always cut off the opinion of what other people are saying and doing. And I actually look at said content or information in a completely non-biased manner. And when you do that, you can actually find the truth a lot better than going along with people's opinions and thoughts. You know what I mean? And I'm asking you, why did you say something like that to get you fucking blocked, bitch? Oh my god, you guys are dumb.
thank you, bye boys. If I die of a heart attack, thank fucking God I'm off this fucking rock. I'm in heaven with Jesus, and I no longer have to deal with these pathetic human beings who do nothing but hurt others for a living just so they can get a laugh. Thank God if I have a heart attack, that would be a blessing from God. Much love, Grammy. Enjoy your greenage. Well, I know it's more than that. <laughs> Wishing heart attacks on people. My word. Wow. You're such you're such a thrilling edge lord. Do, do you enjoy being an edge lord? Does the edge lord make you happy? Does the edgelord give you tranquility in your life? Makes you feel like you're this tough motherfucker? Is that what the edgelord does? Because you're not. Not even close. You're just a weak human being that's so weak you must insult someone to make yourself feel better about what kind of pathetic life you are. Because I realize that hurt people hurt people and if they're trying to insult me and hurt me and call me names, they must be really miserable in their fucking lives. They must be really fucking miserable in their lives where they they pick on someone who they deem and think is weak and stupid when it's kind of the opposite of that. You know, I've survived more than most people have survived and I'm going to continue to survive what most people can't survive. Imagine thousands upon thousands of people on you at once and you're this lone little fucking Spartan trying to like have some kind of establishment on the earth while you have these thousands upon thousands of fucking locusts trying to take you down. But yet, for, but for some reason, you're this fire-breathing fucking dragon and all the locusts just get burned and, and, and fly away because they're too cowardly to actually grow into something more than a fucking locust. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that too much of an analogy for you stupid people to understand? What is she talking about? She's talking about locusts. I don't know what she's talking about. She's so fucking dumb. No, you're dumb because you can't look deep into things. Have me and G-Man discussed a real-life relationship before? Jesus Christ. Duh. What kind of personal ass question is that? Well, I thought everybody knew that he was in the pipeline as a possible thing. You know? When well, I ain't gonna dump you for G-Man, honey. Well, no, that's not what's implied. But, you know. Yeah. No. That's not implied. No. I'm sure me and G-Man would be a very lovely and wonderful couple, sure but I'm not a whore. Oh my God. And I'm loyal. Well, all the question was, have you considered it? Yeah. Well, I, like, I know, I know for one thing, G-Man would take care of me. Yes. And he would, you know, be, he would, he would be a very good provider. Yep. That's He's a very good massager, I'll say that. There you go. So he, he'll, he would be a good lover. <laughs> He's just a little bit of chauvinist and, and I'm the man I take all the all the things and that's not me, so that wouldn't work out very well. He just he has to realize that I'm a free shanty and um I'm just gonna be me regardless of what men tell me that I have to be like. Right. You should be yourself, period. That's right. All women should have that right to be themselves, Jesus. Thanks, absurdity. No, it's true. See, Manson's pretty much been jailed his whole life. Well, when he was living. He was jailed his whole life. Yeah. And he only had like three years where he was actually free. 
His one problem was, and this is his biggest problem. This is why he got the guilty charge on him. He didn't narc out his friends when he should have narked out his friends. But being Charles Manson, who grew up in prison, you grow up to learn if you're in prison your whole life, you grow up not to narc or you get your ass kicked. So he learned not to narc. He learned not to talk to people and, 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 and tattle on people. He learned that at a very early, early age. And when he should have spoke up over the things that Tex was trying to plan, instead of being like, um, I'm going to call the police over you being a sick fuck, Manson did the prison thing and was like, I don't want nothing. I don't want to hear anything about this. I want nothing to do with this. I don't want to hear about this. And then he got charged with being the leader when it was really Tex. Whatever. Do your research. <sighs> it's crazy how many people watch you. I know. They love me. They, they love to hate me. Now, if I could... I, I know human beings are fickle. So if I could convince them to drop these, these, these leeches and just watch me, that would be wonderful. Like, teach these leeches to do their own funkin', fucking content. Teach these leeches to actually pull out their own talents and do their own talent thing, okay? I'm a social commentator. I've always been a social commentator, you know? And, but here's the thing. The difference between me and them, I don't need a video to socially commentate. I can watch the video, commentate about it, and, and not do any copyright infringement like they do. It's funny how they are trying to trigger Rev because they can't get to you. You can't really trigger him anymore either because no, he's been triggered. Oh my god, I don't even give a shit. Are you kidding me? Latest thing is tr they're trying to say I have bitch tits. No, that's you guys. Sorry. And even if you were all having a game bane, so what? Right, Shani? Yeah, exactly. If me, G-Man, and, and Jason decided to all have sex with each other, why is it any of your business if we did? Watch them put that rumor out there. Hey, man, if that rumor's out there, both of them are amazing lovers who got me both off. Ah. <laughs> That's hilarious shit, folks. <laughs> oh, oh, God, David Anthony. <laughs> what a loser. What a loser. David Anthony, have you ever made a woman come before? Never. Wait, I want to unblock him. I want to see him rage, okay? I'm going to unhide you, David. Did you ever make a woman come before? Did you ever make her moan? Because I, I know you're MGTOW and, and you have this hatred for women because your mother was a horrible human being, like mine was, yeah. was is. I don't know if she's alive or dead. I really don't care. Uh, but I understand that. But I wouldn't self-reflect your hatred on your mother onto other women because that makes you an asshole. Okay. I think I said what I needed to say. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, I need that answer. Have you ever made a woman come? Yes or no. That's all I need. And then I'll block you. I learned to use my boob sweat as an aphrodisiac in my cooking. That's right. Go ahead and do that, girl. Hey, man. <laughs> Taste oh, no, don't worry. I understand why you blocked him, Pam. I just want to see the heathen rage. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the fake Christian who likes to gossip worse than a woman. That's right. You want to talk about bitch? The, the bitch titted David Anthony. <laughs> I, I want to see you, David Anthony, since you love to make so many fucking videos about me. I, I, I want to know if you ever made a woman come before. Can you please answer me, man? Have you made a woman come? Well, he could lie and say yes, and he never did, you know? Yeah. I bet you haven't, because if you talk to a woman like that, I guarantee she's not going to come. That's correct. You see, that's very true. Okay? Dave, learn. Learn, David. Okay? <laughs> That's all these men do is gossip like high school girls. I know, right? That's true. I know. David Ever like thought of doing a reaction to a reaction channel video? No, because I don't believe in stealing content, and I'm just going to be the bigger person and just call them fucking morons for doing that stuff and stealing people's content. Now, if someone gave me permission to use their video to react on, then I would do it. But I certainly wouldn't do it to someone who didn't want me to react to their video, because that's just rude. 
Did you guys ever thought about asking me if you wanted to use my video for a reaction? No, none of you done that. And, and you know, when I sue your fucking asses, the judge is going to ask the same thing. So, yeah, you do not have permission to use my videos in any way, shape, or form because I own the copyright. So, when I sue you in court, all those super chats, all the ad revenue is mine. Is mine. And it's going to happen because I'm just waiting for after G-Man's lawsuit. I'm just waiting for G-Man's lawsuit because with G-Man's lawsuit, he's going to be giving us the money in the said lawsuit. And then I'm going to be using that that money that I get in that lawsuit to sue all the rest of you fuckers. You see? You see? It's just going to build up. You know? I'm going to make sure I have that $4,000 retainer Whoa. on the lawyer with the 50000 that you're going to give me. Well, G-Man's going to give me from suing your ass. And then I'm going to do that with everyone. And then I'm going to collect 50000 from you, and 50000 from you, and 50000 from you. And I'm just going to constantly connect, collect revenue from what you've done against me while suing you and going to your state where you live. Because I've been telling people, and G-Man's been trying to tell you, they're spies. So we know your names. We know your addresses. We know where you are. We know how you are. It's called a Google reverse image search. So, yeah. Unlike you dum-dums, though, we take said information of names and addresses and actually apply it to actual legality stuff. While you morons take the names and addresses of people and dox them. There's a big thing. I don't talk about my sexual activities, especially online. So the answer is no, David Anthony. You haven't made a woman come. All right, good to know. Now I'll block you. I suggest getting some, uh, David Anthony in the future, I suggest getting some skills from Jason. Just ask him how do you make a woman come, and I'm sure he'll tell you how to do that. Well, I would have in the old days. You know, I tried to defend David Anthony. I feel like your dad now, David. You don't know shit. I'll have a stream for individuals. Yeah. Get it straight, David. You're a loser. Loser. Okay? Done with it. Yeah. 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 Done with it. Trust me, Peanuts. Not everything is instant. Some things take time. Some Sometimes, you know, things need to be collected with spies and stuff. So, you know, you can enjoy doing what you do behind the scenes, but it is being thoroughly documented by your spies that you continually allow into your groups because you're dumb and you actually believe them. Oh. Oh. It's going to be so cool when you get outwitted by your own people. <laughs> I know mine, Benda. I have an old pet rat videos on my vi YouTube, so I mean this was love because I love rats. When I get two new girls, can I call one of them Shanny after you? I can send pics on IG and you can choose one. I would love to be called out. You can name your, your little rat after me. That's fine. That's cute. That's cute. I'll be like, oh my god, it's the Shanny rat! <laughs> Make sure it has a pink little nose. That's that's a perfect shanty if it's pink nose. Pink nose. Like Gavin, Kit Kat. He's on <laughs> that's fucking funny as shit. <laughs> Hella Skelter, I love her. Tell him when he provides proof of coming, he can come back. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, then you can apply for the job, David. See? I don't talk about my sexual activities on YouTube. Okay, so you just answered my question. Oh, okay, David. I, he's never seen a woman shiver that's a in... No. Yes, that is a no. He's never seen a woman shiver and, and, and quiver in, in ecstasy before. All right, now you're making me want to do it to you, okay? Should I get off so we can do it? Pretty soon. All right, let's no, go. No, 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 it's okay. You're doing your thing. It's good. Keep going. <laughs> There's plenty of time to, to make Shanty come in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Shanty, am I... Bye. Mind bender. Yeah. He's in the know. He's yeah. in the know. He's like three inches in and straight up there, pal. Thank That's you. All goes. See, he, he, knows. Knows. he knows. He knows. He knows. He feels like a sponge. Well, mind bender. It feels like a sponge. 
well, Mindbender. Well, hi. Yeah, I'm <laughs> flirting, see? <laughs> Rev should give lessons online so David can learn. That's a good video. I could do that. Sure, yeah. I might do a little of that on the stream. I Make it 18 plus, baby. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't want no fucking thunder. <coughs> I don't want anybody under 18 listening to me anyway. Right. I'd have that every stream. Right? right. We're not like Irate Alex, who who a, literally has children defend him. He's a pa pa pa. A pa 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 pa. He 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 hangs with the pa 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 pal talkers. He 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 hangs with the t t t t g r people. Yep. All of them love the kitty stuff. Oh, they do. And they all invent like child molestation and child hate type stories up to try to hurt people. Oh, and they try to convince. Like, who thinks of that stuff? They try Other to, than them. Yeah, they try to convince people that, that, that hitting on people that are like 12 is just fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I know. Really? Hey, YouTube, where are you? Oh, the biggest pigs out there are like, I can't wait till she turns 18. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I can sexualize this 18-year-old. Because <laughs> cause she'll eventually want me for me being a vile pig of a man. <laughs> oh, come here, honey. Let me... You want this big old salami? <laughs> you want this? Yeah. And then they send dick pics. Disgusting. Okay? Done with it. Let me go to Shani and say something completely sexual derogatory to her. Yeah. 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 I'm going to get her that way. Yeah, I'm going to go beat off to her porn. Later, Pam. Psychos. Yeah, poor Pam. She's like a nice Christian girl. Talking about this horrible shit. Sorry, I think yeah. someone in France got a lot of cash for money that haters got with their hate bids. Saw a headline but didn't read the whole article. Yeah, they ha they do that all the time. They do that all the time. Like, for instance, notice that you don't see any more um, Nikado Avocado uh, hate videos anymore. You know why? Because Nikado Avocado is suing the fuck out of these people. Nancy. And, and, and he taught us how to do stuff like that. So, yeah. Have fun with that. Nancy's fault. Nancy. Uh this is a great See, I also I also know that people try to be nice to me to try to get like the digs the in into my world, but no. I'm at the point now where I keep my clan very small and if you know I want to talk to you about personal life, I'm gonna have to know you in my personal life. So basically the only people that actually has any shit on us like, real fucking shit on us is G-Man, and he's not saying a goddamn word to you motherfuckers. I mean, there's really not much shit to have about us. I mean, like, what? There's one. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what you're talking I'll about. I'll let you speculate which one that is. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's great for them. Yeah. For them. Yeah, go speculate. What what dirt do they have on, does G-Man have on them? You'll never know. No, you'll never know, because he doesn't say shit to no one. <laughs> Which is awesome. He's like a vault. He's a good friend. Thank you, Absurdity. I don't know why they would want to deprive themselves of my rich, wonderful entertainment either. They, they, they backhanded their own selves and they took a hit in their fucking wallets. That's why they're leaving me up and not flagging me down because they know they took a big hit in their wallets. Yeah, and you're back and they're happy. Of course, I'm making people money. Can you give me some of it, though? You deserve it. How did you get so lucky to get a man not glued to the sports channel right now? What's going on in sports? Oh my god, I don't even know. What's going on in sports? The only sport I know is playing with your clip. Thank you. Anyway. That's my game. <laughs> they can't help it. They want all those voluptuous shanty curves, but Rev is the lucky guy. Exactly. Exactly. That's correct. And G-Man is too, because he gets to hug on me. Yeah, he does. Ha <laughs> ha! I endorse that. <laughs> Go watch your back, Rev. No, shut your mouth. He's like, hey, hey, ain't ever gonna happen. It's just not. You just don't understand what we have, man. You just no. don't understand, man. No, it's Christian love. They wouldn't understand that at all. Ronaldo meant to man you, bruv? What? Ronaldo. Oh, football season started? I don't give a fuck about football. Well, wow, we're gonna watch empty stadiums because of COVID. Well, that's fine. Remember, everyone has to be three seats apart from each other. Yeah, that's a great fun time. 
oh, we can't do the hot dog seller or the candy seller or the popcorn things and sports things. Like, this, like, COVID killed humanity. Yeah. Destroyed it. Just one little invisible little fucking monster just pff, killed all of society. And everyone's become more into themselves, more uh, <laughs> narcissistic, more like devaluing of your fellow man. This guy called it all. Clay, what is his name? Dr. Bill Deagle. He called oh. it every bit of it. He said it's going to start with a pandemic. The New World Order. Takeover. <laughs> International socialist takeover. It starts with the pandemic. That's I, I do ask the hate channels, though, the reaction channels. What is your such, your fucking obsession about me? What is it? Is it because you ha I have a quality that you don't have that I can actually run my mouth without the occasional grunt and, huh, and I can't believe she said that! Guys can't take my opinions or thoughts at all. Y'all become big babies and take my channels down for just saying my thoughts, and I'm not hurting anyone. Not a goddamn fool I ain't hurting. But you'll be like, yeah, you are, you're attacking all these people. No, I'm not attacking. I'm just rebuttaling over the stupid shit they've done to me. That's the truth. But anyway, why don't you head over to Revelation News Radio? He's going to put on a show. I think I've done my, my, my uh, line of talking for today. Oh my, mind bender. Mind bender. He said he'd be rubbing my sponge. <laughs> yeah, that's my job. Thank you, mind bender. Love you. Yeah. Anyway, peace, and Maranatha, people. <laughs>